Noctar. So, you want to get Celebi in Pokemon Gold and Silver, but you don't have a Game Shark, and you just have too strong of a conscience to hack and cheat a fake Celebi into your game. But the only way to legitimately get a Celebi is from a distribution that ended over 10 years ago. So what do you do? You go to YouTube, type in how to get Celebi in Pokemon Gold and Silver, and click on this video. Well, you've come to the right place. To make things clear, I am using a real physical copy of Pokemon Silver to do this, but this also works on Pokemon Gold and in the Pokemon Gold and Silver Virtual Console games on 3DS. I recorded this footage using my Game Boy Player on my GameCube. For some reason, there are these horrible flickering horizontal lines in the footage, so please excuse those. Anyway, to set up this glitch, it's easiest to beat the game first. Theoretically, the fastest way to set this up is to beat all the Johto Gems, beat the Elite Four, and then beat the Kanto Gem Leader Janine. Remember to save up a lot of money as you play through the game, because you will need it to get these items. The items need to go on your PC in this exact order you see on screen. Any number of any item, any number of any other item, 2 TM27s, 42 fresh water, 1 lovely mail, HM07, 65 Pokeballs, 4 Great Balls, 1 Everstone, any number of any other item, 51 Surf Mail, 18 Full Heal, 46 Flower Mail, HM03, 1 X Speed, 1 TM06, any number of any fourth item, and 1 TM41. Make sure all of the optional items are completely different from each other or the glitch won't work. Most of these items you can buy. The two HMs you need in your game by this point anyway, the Everstone you get from Professor Elm after showing him the hatched Togepi, TM27 you get at the top of the Goldenrod department store on Sundays if you show a lady a high happiness Pokemon, and TM06 you get from Janine after beating her gym. I'll be honest. I used my TM06, Toxic, on a Pokemon before finding out about this glitch, so I ended up speeding through the game on my Pokemon Gold version, getting all the way to Janine and transferring over her TM to Silver in the span of about two days. I gave it to this Togepi to hold. McEggface. Clever, right? Remember his name. He comes up later. Anyway, setting up these items in your PC isn't all you need to do. On top of that, you need a Quagsire in the fourth slot of your party. The level doesn't matter, but it needs to know the move Sleep Talk, which can be talked to it through TM35. Sleep Talk needs to be in the first slot of its moveset. It also needs to be holding an HP up. Slot 1 of your party needs to be a freshly caught low-level Pokémon, and Slot 3 needs to be another low-level Pokémon. As you can see, I have a Geodude in Slot 1, and Rattata in Slot 4. Slots 2, 5, and 6 can be anything, but just for safety when doing this, I left 5 and 6 alone. Hoodoot is my flying Pokémon for this tutorial, and trust me, you will want a flyer in order to make things go faster. Anyway, with the Pokémon in place and the items all deposited in order, it's time to initiate the glitch. Fly to New Barktown, walk just inside Professor Elm's lab, and save the game. Reset the game, leave the lab, and walk over to immediately below this tree. Once there, open the Pokédex, scroll down until you see Bellsprout's entry, and choose it. Listen to its cry, back out, go down to your bag, and cycle to the key items. The key to this whole glitch is the little item known as the coin case. All we need to do is use the coin case, and the glitch will be activated. Uh... Okay... Um... Well... That just happened. So, it turns out this glitch is actually dependent on the two Pokémon in slots 1 and 3. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. But that's alright, all we need to do is catch another low-level Pokémon, nickname it Celebi just for luck, and try the whole glitch again. Go back to Elm's lab, save and reset, walk back to the tree, let Bellsprout sing you a song, go to your coin case, and... Okay, third time's the charm. Please, for the love of Llama God. Wow. Um, thanks, Nintendo. One eternity later. So for the gits and shiggles, I decided to take out McEggface and make that my slot 3 Pokemon. Not Celebi, a random level 3 Raditz I found is in slot 1. 
I'm not joking, exaggerating, or kidding in any way, but this is literally my ninth try to get this glitch to work, and I honestly don't know if it will anymore. I've checked all my items, double-checked Quagsire, reread the instructions to make sure it works, and I'll be frank, I think I'm doomed to never get this to... Okay, it worked! I knew it would work! So, once you see that message and your game doesn't crash, you know the glitch has been activated. Fly to Goldenrod City, walk down a little bit, go inside the daycare, and leave your not Celebi in slot 1 with one of the old peeps inside. Then just walk around, wait for it to level up, then go and retrieve it. I bet you are geniuses, ma'am, but I just want my not Celebi back. If he'd be so kind as to... Yeah, it turns out I accidentally bought 51 Surf Mails twice, so this should get me my not Celebi back. Just one more step. What am I even doing with my- I'd like my not Celebi back, please, now, ma'am. Thank you. I hope you don't die on my way out. Anyway, believe it or not, the glitch is now complete. As you can see, looking at my party, my not Celebi is actually Celebi. All that's left is to save the game and make sure all that time and effort didn't go to waste. You can now rename Celebi at the Name Raider if you want, but there's just something about not Celebi actually being a Celebi that I really, really like. Thanks to McEggface, we now have an as legitimate as you can get Celebi in a real physical copy of Pokemon Silver version. And like I said, this works for the Virtual Console games as well. So if you have those on 3DS, feel free to try out this glitch yourself. And before you ask, I don't know if the Celebi will transfer to Sun and Moon since that option isn't available yet. Anyway, I hope this video was informative for all of you. Thanks for watching. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to go take care of Not Celebi and McEggface. They need a lot of tender loving care. Hi everyone, this is Skull. If you liked the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. If you're already subscribed, hit that little bell so you get notifications whenever I upload a new video. That does it for now. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more.